Hi friends, I am Sri Devi Krishnan. Here I am to thank you all for your warm response for my last talk on crocheting and knitting. Now I am here for a different purpose because I want to introduce you to the literary giant R.K. Narayan. With him, I had the good fortune of uh, sharing half a day. Thanks to Malati, R.K.'s niece, for making this meeting possible. I know R.K. Narayan doesn't need any introduction. He had authored 34 novels, several collections of stories. As a novelist, he is compared to the great American author William Faulkner and British author Charles Dickens. His short stories are more like Maupassant's or Chekhov's. To read and enjoy any author, we should have a peep into their lives. As writers try to write from their own experiences or the experiences of others who they observe. Also, their writings reflect the social, economic or political issues of their times. He was born in a Tamil Brahmin middle class family, one of eight children to a school principal. Interesting to note that R. K. Lekman, the famous cartoonist who illustrated Narayan's works, was his own youngest brother. R. K. studied in a local school. He was not a good student. He failed in SSLC and passed his BA only in his second attempt. But he was a great reader. By the time he was 12, he finished all the classics in the library. R.K. had sweet memories of his grandmother Parvati, who must have been his inspiration for his storytelling skill. Swami and Friends is based on his own experiences as a school student. In this novel, he creates an imaginary village, Malgudi, full of ordinary people and their ordinary lives. R.K. was in his 20s. He got married to a very beautiful girl, Rajam, a girl of his choice, ignoring her ill-matched horoscope. This shows R.K.'s very progressive views. Their marriage lasted only for about five years. Unfortunately, Rajam died of typhoid. The tragedy devastated R.K. and he never remarried. He devoted the rest of his life to look after his only daughter, Hema, and follow his passion for writing, which he continued till the age of 94. R.K.'s literary journey started with rejections. His first novel, Swami and Friends, was rejected not once or twice, six times by the Indian publishers. Then comes Graham Greene, great uh, literary figure. He found a uh, Shekhov in his short stories. He said, if at all somebody is like Shekhov, it is R.K. Narayan from India. After Graham Greene became his mentor, Fortune really smiled at R.K. and all his novels became very, very successful. Soon, prestigious awards followed. Padma Vibhushan, Sahitya Academy Award, and then again Benson, medal for, from the Royal Society and received honorary doctorate from several universities and was nominated for the Nobel Prize for Literature. R.K.'s English teacher is also semi-autobiographical. He worked as an English teacher and resigned his job when the headmaster asked him to substitute the physical, physical training master. Thankfully, after this, he did not take up a job uh, and became a full-time author. R.K.'s novel, Dark Room, is all about the sufferings of a wife, showing the oppressed women in a male-oriented society. Very relevant topic even today. R.K.'s guide was made into a famous movie starring Devanand and Vahida Rahman. No doubt, R.K. became a world-renowned author and Graham Green called him the greatest living author. When he was nominated to our upper house, Rajya Sabha, he made a very 
what you call heartening uh, plea against the children being burdened by homework academics etc etc which made such an impact on the members of the rajya sabha that some of them were in tears when they heard him speak eloquently about the stooping school child carrying heavy bags always anxious and stressed about exams homework and in the bargain forget to live their lives to port rk more children on account of this daily burden develop a stoop and having their arms forward like a chimpanzee while walking it's a cruel harsh life imposed on her and i present her case before this house and the honorable members to think over and devise a remedy by changing the whole educational system and outlook so that childhood has a chance to bloom the other said narayan also had said an average child carrying bags strapped to the back is like a pack mule a quote again the hardship starts right at home when straight from the bed the child is pulled out and got ready for school even before his faculties are awake he or she is groomed and stuffed into a uniform and packed off with a loaded bag on her back narayan had said at the end of his address there were tears in the eyes of the rajya sabha members they formed a committee for reforming education system under the chairmanship of professor yashpal and rk also was made a member of it i don't know about the recommendation of this committee or the implementation of it or partial implementation of it but looking around i feel we are back to square one indian and chinese parents push their children to achieve in every field academic or non academic i have seen cases even in india where children commit suicide just because of their poor, poor performance in exams for those parents who are so obsessed with their children's success i would like to recommend very strongly a book battle him of a tiger mother by ami chua which i think is an eye opener for all over ambitious parents for the youngsters my only request is to develop a habit of reading so please do not give that time they make use of having no time make time to read arkes work you will soon be addicted to reading like me happy reading thanks till we meet again